Hi, Jerry. It's good to connect with you today. Same here. I want to talk about membership and ownership. These are two concepts that you and I talk a lot about in our conversations. And I want to just toss out the understanding of membership in the language of consciousness. You know that I do a lot of work with the technologies of consciousness. And in, in terms of full consciousness, membership is something that rises when we bring awareness into what's called relational intelligence. So when we're aware of our connections with the world, when we're sensing the world, we are in relational consciousness, there's a natural rising of a sense of membership. And you can see this when you take people to other cultures and, and people in other cultures are much more friendly than we are and the sights and sounds and smells are very exciting and people start to feel their environment. They suddenly feel at home, like they belong and they can't quite explain it. But if, you're ever, if you've ever been in one of these situations, you know that when you start to feel that sense of membership, your entire worldview changes, what you value changes, how you interact and exchange with other people, that begins to change. And in the world we're in right now, people in general, modern cultures, are, are very linear. They're not uh, really feeling the world. They're following internal strategies. And, and this has had a huge impact on on how we live and relate, it's had a huge impact on our economies and our and our frameworks, our infrastructures. Yeah, it's funny because economy and ecology both come from the same root word, you know, oikos, which is the management of the household, the household itself. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the earth as our household or just our household. And somehow we've broken way far away from that. And we've managed to create what, what George W. Bush was explicitly calling an ownership society. This was mm -hmm. a big good thing that he was selling. He said, everybody should have a house, everybody should have all these kinds of things. And at this point, past 2008, we're busy trying to unwind the global financial debacle. Now mm -hmm. we're, we're, we're moving right into a student loan crisis because there's apparently a trillion dollars worth of student loan debt out there that's waiting to burst. Yeah. Um, and you can't wipe it off your, your records if you go bankrupt, et cetera, et cetera. There's all these, all these strange things about the ownership society that we've been not only sold, mm -hmm. but we've somehow managed to export to the rest of the world because so much of the world sees the, the U.S. as a role model. And, you know, back in the 80s, they thought we were all like, like the, the drama series Dallas. Now they all think we're like Friends or Seinfeld or something else. Who actually knows? But, but this whole notion of buying and owning things separate from everybody else, you know, outside of, of the mutuality, um, is now pervasive in many different places and changing cultures worldwide. So I think this is, it's very deeply rooted. We have managed to consumerize not just consumer packaged goods, but every sector of society. And mm -hmm. I, I, I love what you say about membership because I think we're trying to find our way back to it. So w what does it mean? Well, what membership means, let me start by saying a little bit about what it isn't, um, the state of ownership. When we put out on a global scale that having things, owning things, has primary value, you know, we've spread that cultural idea around the world. It drives people to focus on the thing on the physical thing, on having, on competing with other people. So we begin to push other people away and we try to climb to the top of the pile. And so you cannot possibly have membership. In terms of consciousness, let's come back. So in other words, our, our ownership societies are actually changing our state of consciousness. So membership technically is a state in which you're, you belong to something bigger instead of having everything belong to you. So it's turning, turning this paradigm of I gotta have it inside out. And, and could you belong to your community? Do you belong to the earth? And it's literally a different state of consciousness where awareness is, is uh, active in a whole different part of the brain and it's driving different behaviors and different connectivities. So membership is collectivity, it's collaboration. You give because you're going to receive instead of just taking, 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 which is what we do. There's so many delicious ironies here because in consumerist society, the thing that most people hunger for is a sense of connection to something bigger. Mm -hmm. Hello, we've, yes. we've, we've managed to cut that thing away. We've managed to tear it down and it's right there. It's yeah. right there if you start seeing the world a little bit differently.